So, so a few people have asked me about how I can help people consistently get leads from LinkedIn content. So I'm going to put to I'm I'm going to kind of share my methodology with you here so you can understand it and know how it works. So lots of people have said to me, Dean, I've posted on LinkedIn and got nothing. And I've actually done polls and like 60, 70 percent of people have said I'm getting nothing from LinkedIn. So so I thought, well, OK, I'm going to put down my approach to it, the way I think about it, share it with people. And oddly enough, more and more people are interested in this to the point where I actually run an implementation program on this now. So I call it the rapid leads method. So RLM, rapid lead method. The reason I call it the rapid leads method is because it's something you can do and have running. You know, if you blocked out a couple of days, you could have it running in days. I tend to get people to do it over a, a couple of weeks simply because some of the information takes some time to drop. Yeah, some of the, the ways we think about things takes a little while to drop. So you can just deploy it in days. But to be honest with you, it's better over a couple of weeks. So it's called the rapid leads method because it's something you can do rapidly. Oh, no brainer, duh, right? So the first cog of this is building your audience value proposition. So when you build your audience value proposition, this is about Let's just be honest. We don't think like our customers, do we? We have a completely different view on the world, on business, everything. We're probably in different industries. We're probably, we probably don't suffer with the same challenges they do. Ultimately, we've overcome the problem that they need fixing. The issue that they need our help with, we don't have. So, so when you think about it, we are trying to talk to people who don't think like us. So what does that mean? Well, it means that a lot of our language, a lot of our, the ways we communicate are disjointed. They're disconnected. So when we put out a piece of content, we put it out thinking this will get them interested. And oddly enough, it doesn't. So the audience value proposition forces you to kind of think from a client's perspective. It forces you to go, OK, how do they really think about the world? How do they think about their challenge? And it, it spins the whole world around. It takes you out of your little business bubble and puts you into the client's bubble. And so you see the world differently. You see the challenges differently. And that's why sometimes you're putting promo posts out and nobody gets it. That's why sometimes you're frustrated and going, why are people just not getting this? You know, we've got a great value. We can solve their problem, but they just seem to not see any any interest in it because your audience value proposition is off yeah and i see this in big companies and small companies we we talk to ourselves so this avp is critical in getting that clarity of the value you bring both in content and in your service so cog number two is about the master content fundamentally you don't need tons and tons of content you need some core content to get leads anyway, you need some core content that is basically broken up and repurposed in different ways. And um, inside my 100 Leads program, uh, and I'll tell you why I call it a 100 Leads program. Um, one, because you can get 100 leads, but two, because of the way I discovered this method. So the master content is the same, pretty much the same message, just broken up and, and repurposed into different mediums uh, and, in, and expressed in different angles and different ways. So that's the create your master content. So you don't need to be creating totally new stuff. You just need to make highly relevant stuff. And so in many cases, this is three or four what I call masterpieces of content. But fundamentally, the message is the same. And that is then used through a systemized distribution across LinkedIn. So it's not about, um, you know, just throwing stuff out. It's it's being very targeted about how we use the content, very focused. So I tell people it's not about just getting it in front of everybody. It's about getting it in front of the right people. That's how you get interest, leads and clients. 
So if that's 20 people a day, it's 20 people a day. If that's 500 people a month, that's 500 people a month. But it's it, it's fundamentally about getting it in front of the right people and ultimately doing it without sending sales pitches by DM or spending money on ads. You don't need to do that. Um, you don't need to do that. And then finally, it's about capturing the interest. How are you going to, what's the mechanism that you're going to use to find the interested people? In other words, the people who go, oh, I resonate with that and and I want to know more. Yeah, <laughs> the how are you going to do that? So, so that's what I teach in the 100 Leads program. So let me tell you why I call it the 100 Leads program. Number one is because if you implement the program, if you come on the program, it is an implementation program. So it's not about learning it and then going away and figuring it out. It's about learning it inside the program and implementing it inside the program so that by week three or four of the program, you're actually getting leads. And our team are on demand to help you in terms of how, what do I do if this lead comes in? What do I do if that lead comes in? How do I make sure the system's working? As something feels like it's broken, how do we fix it? All that stuff. And it's not complicated. You don't need a techie. So one of the reasons why it's called 100 Leads is because if you implement it, you can, over a six-week period, generate 100 leads in six weeks. Anybody can do this. Anybody. Um, I've not yet met somebody who couldn't... Um, do this within their target audience. Um, so that's the first reason why I call it the 100 leads, because if you implement it, once it's up and running, within about six weeks, you've got 100 leads. By that, I mean people from your target audience that you've selected signaling to you, I resonate with your message. I resonate with the challenges you're talking about. I want more. That's what I count as a lead. Um, so that's the first reason. The second reason why I called it the 100 leads, well, I kind of did it because I wanted to tell people it does what it says on the tin. But the other reason is, years ago when my back was up against a wall and facing that client famine where you go, where's the next round of um, business coming from? I was like, do you know what? I don't want to be in this position again where I come out of a project and have no, no clients or I, I've I've been so busy, I've neglected the clients. So I wanted something to run in the background that would work day in, day out and give me a pipeline of clients. And I worked out, you know, not every lead is ready to buy. Some people are the right people just too early on in the process. Some people are, you know, the wrong people. But I worked out that if I had 100, taking all the factors of, you know, that person changes jobs or that person doesn't have budget, taking all those factors in, out of 100, I'd have enough clients to get me through the pinch, yeah? So so I worked out if I had 100 leads in a six-week cycle, that would feed my client, you know, my revenue needs. So the 100 leads in six weeks is why I called it that, because I was like, yeah, if I had 100, that would more than make it comfortable for me that if some people aren't ready right now, Maybe they'll come back to it in three, four months' time. Some people go, oh, I can't do this till next year. And some people go, yeah, let's do it now. And some people say, oh, you know, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. But what I knew is with that 100, that would give me enough to get the clients I need in the short term whilst also having some people who would be converting down the road. So that's why I called it the 100 Leads Program, which is built off this rapid leads method. Build your AVP, create your master content, systemize your distribution, and capture the interest. Now, if I've captured your interest, I want you to drop me a line because in August, I will be helping people build this system for themselves. So you can have this system running in your business by the end of August which is great considering September, October and November are critical months for businesses to make money. So if you want this system running in your business, um, you can have it running by September, which means you can hit 
the post summer the the golden run shall we say to christmas uh, hard with lots of leads in your business a couple of quick questions do you need ads no do you need to send cold sales pitches on linkedin no do you need uh, to be a tech expert no um can this work for most businesses yes the only thing i would say where it may not be useful to is if you're selling very low value things like 200 quid things or 500 quid things if you're selling something that's like thousand pounds two thousand pounds five thousand pounds it's it's worth your while but if you're selling like 50 quid things 100 quid things it's probably not for you brilliant for services so marketing consultants coaches anything like that brilliant system um but we'll get it up and running uh, by the end of august uh, so September, you can be having leads coming into your inbox uh, every single week.